All right, what is up guys back with some more videos and in today's video obviously bodybuilding is somewhat dead right now uh, Nothing's going on anywhere. We have the Hathor Bjornsson versus um, Eddie Hall But that's not really bodybuilding. That's like strongman, maybe powerlifting a little bit uh, So we kind of just got to keep updated with the guys and see where everyone's at and kind of see what people are doing So right now we're looking at Hottie Chupan who's rocking that 1.4 million followers on Instagram. God damn, bro. You are Definitely trying to pass Mr. Olympia. Actually, I think yeah, he has way more than Brandon Curry. He really does. Damn, that's insane. Um, but obviously, he has the entire country of Iran backing him up, so he has that in his pocket. Uh, but he posted his photo, man. Like, god damn. Now, this seems to be from 2016 because obviously, based down below, you can see 2016. Uh, bro, what am I looking at? Like, you know, so obviously, like, it's really sharpened, very, very sharpened. In fact, like, sharpened. Some brightness and contrast is going on here. But, uh, bro, look at the detail. Look, look at the chest. Look at the stomach, bro. Look at the legs, man. Like, what what gets me in hottest physique is the legs. Always the legs all the time. Like, his quads are just stupid. It doesn't make any sense. At this stage in his career, he has, like, an amateur upper body, but, like, pro-level legs. I mean, it's freaking nuts. Um, love hottest physique. Uh, Hottie right now is sporting this really, you know, kind of, like, bearded look. Like, he has the... Really growing out mustache and the really, really thick beard. Uh, it's actually really mature and uh, almost like an old school look. You can kind of see it a bit lower here if you actually scroll down. Uh, he does have a post where he's just kind of like out there. Where is it at? I really, I, I literally just saw it. Like I just saw it and then I can't see it. Yeah, this one. Here it is. This post here. Like, look, Hardy. <laughs> literally like bearded, like mustache is fully brown out. Um, Still looking pretty uh, thick, I would say. You know, obviously, he's not, like, inside out in terms of how he was at the Olympia, which, man, like, talk about the Olympia. Look at this. I mean, looking back at Hardy now, like, literally now, I feel like he should have been at least top two. I mean, bro, bare minimum top two. There's no way, like, literally no way that William Bonas beat him. Please look at William's physique and then look at Hardy. Like, do it today. Like, maybe back then, we were kind of, like, bamboo, so we didn't really know how to feel about Hottie Chupan back then. But, I mean, if you look at him today, honestly, man, I might even have him winning. Like, I'm just saying, bro, the conditioning was stupid. His body parts were dumb. If you want to talk about his back sucking, like, his back doesn't suck. It's really freaking wide. It might not have that, you know, lower lot kind of Christmas tree fingernail effect going through the... Um, like that dry little back person. He doesn't have that But the thickness is there the width is there. He literally has every other pose You know man, I feel like he should have been second at the very least second Like there's no way he'd be swinging. I mean, I love William Bonac 100% But um, I mean bro, like the William Maybe like a 2018 William But 2019 William with a quad injury Like nah, he doesn't beat this he, Like nah bro, like nah Like just get out of here man, he doesn't beat him uh, look at our man with the swag, man. Full white, by the way. Uh, that looks to be like a white Rolex. Um, quads popping through the pants, but look at my dude here. Jeez Louise. Freaking nuts, hottie, bro. Uh, he does post a lot of throwbacks, obviously. Everyone posts their throwbacks. You can tell it's a throwback because he doesn't have the beard grow or the beard growing out. Because uh, he's rocking that as of late, unless he cut it for this video and kind of grew back the next day. I don't know how that's possible. Uh, promoting Evagen, obviously, and this is kind of like an old promo video for the Olympia. Uh, which, by the way, I love Evogen's coverage of Hottie. Um, one of the only companies who actually covered a bodybuilder in great detail. I think, yeah, like Evogen. Um, I don't remember anyone else, to be fair. I mean, I guess Dragon Pharma for um, Big Rombie's 2020 Arnold Classic Prep. They kind of cover quite a bit of him. But companies aren't really covering bodybuilding these days in... Or at least, I guess, the bodybuilders prep leading into the shows, which back in the 90s and early 2000s, man, that was everything. Like, you would literally have an entire DVD series of these guys prepping, and you would document that entire prep and sell it as a freaking DVD. Now we can't even get, like, a YouTube series. <laughs> we can't even get a YouTube series. It's up to the guys themselves to do their own videoing and to post their own videos. And I guess that's cool. Like, I guess. I mean, have your YouTube channel and do your own thing and make your own company. I get it. But I mean, bro, look at this man, like this, I love this photo. Like I've seen this photo like a thousand times. I've seen this photo so freaking much, but it looks so badass. You know, like he's just vascular as shit with big freaking biceps, carved out triceps, like just, 
just stupid looking. He just looks cool, man. Like, look, look at the friggin' vein. Like, my finger is not as big as those veins. Like, that one single vein that's on the side of his bicep, what is that? Like, why is that even there? That's too freaking. That's like a leg vein on his arm. That's freaking nuts, man. Let's, let's go a little further. Let's see what happened here. Obviously, the knock on Hardy has been like, okay, he doesn't have the best shape, but, you know, he does what he needs to do with this physique, man. Like, he does enough. You know what I mean? He works with his tools the best he can, and he brings the best package, and he just wins shit all the time. Um, I think his shape doesn't hurt him. He, he has a vacuum, bro. Like, who has a vacuum in open bodybuilding? Like, he has one, Rafael Brandeo. I guess Juan Morel has one now. Uh, rest in peace to the great Luke Sandow. He rocked a great vacuum. I guess Blessing of Woodaboo. It's kind of it. It's kind of it. Like, I wish we had, like, more open men bodybuilders rocking vacuum. Like, for example, Cedric. Cedric will look great with vacuum. Uh, I mean, Brandon. Like, Brandon waste is already non-existent. Put a vacuum on it, and it's freaking insane. Like, it's the best physique ever. Um, bro, look at this, man. Look at the Olympia physique, man. Look, bro. Yo, this was a guy who eight weeks out didn't even know if he was going to compete. Literally eight weeks out, he had no idea he was going to make it. And I think he got the news at like five weeks out or something that he got the visa. So he had to have been like in this conditioning, but not sure if he's going to compete. He didn't even know what was going to happen. So he's kind of just cruising. My man was cruising here. He didn't even have like a full 12 to 15 week prep. Cause he was just kind of like, well, I don't know. Let me just prep for something else. Let me prep for a show that's like a month later. Cause I didn't know I was going to make the Olympia stage. This is like, his four weeks out physique <laughs> and he plays third <laughs> give this man a full guaranteed making it to the u.s 12 week prep nuts it would be freaking insane guaranteed this is the vancouver pro right yeah this is a this is a great physique i feel like this physique was better than olympia like, look at the shoulders, look at the arms. His tricep looks really freaking thick here. He doesn't even have triceps, but they look, they, they're, they're popping. They are popping. Um, the thing about this is that he actually had time to prep because he knew he was going to compete. He knew he was going to get a visa to make it to Toronto to compete. He knew it. So he had like a full 12, 15 week prep. Like, he knew he was going to make it. The Olympia, he didn't. But he still plays third at the Olympia. Like, freaking nuts. Um, I wish I could actually find a similar pose to this, but to the Olympian compare it. But he doesn't have one posted here. But um, yeah, man, like he just been hanging out and chilling. Uh, this virus has not stopped him at all. Kind of lost a little bit of gains. I mean, obviously he's not prepping for anything, so he's not really like peeled inside out. Like he's not thick as hell. Like, Getting those levels, I want. I want to do that. I want my poster just there when I walk in. But then again, I'm not third in the world, so well, my poster be anywhere. Um, man, look at this physique, bro. God damn, this is the champion here, bro. He. The things that I love, Brandon, though. Like I think Brandon is a great champion. He has a great physique. He's great overall. But look at Hardy, man. Freaking peeled, peeled and huge. That's nuts. But um, honestly, man, like. Based off of how things are right now, I don't even know if he'll make it. Because right now we have the whole travel ban thing still in play. Um, Iran being one of the hot countries who got, who's being hit the most with this virus. You know, like with all the factors that's being considered, I don't even know if he'll even make it to 2020. Like he's qualified because he came third, but I don't know if he'll make it. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, as you can see, this is him like pumped up. Probably this might be a couple weeks out of 2019 Olympia. Eh, maybe actually, I don't know. This does look almost off season for him because <laughs> uh, he's not like carved out. He's usually like really detailed at this point. Um, but you can look at this and then look at this and just kind of tell he's not really, you know, pushing the stuff, pushing the training. 
uh, he's not really like trying to really do anything. He's just trying like cool, trying to be cool and you know work out here and there. Uh, once again, he's trying to not catch a virus, and <laughs> that's the last thing he wants, obviously. So you know, training probably isn't a big deal for him right now. He's trying to just be safe and uh, probably be with his family, to be fair. Uh, so you know, but you know, hey, I mean, ooh, Chupan Classic, what? Okay, Hadi, I see you putting on his very own show. Uh, five days ago, so this is definitely going to be happening. I wish you could translate this. I probably can't translate it. Uh, some sites does have a translation option. Instagram doesn't. I wish they did. We could actually read this, but we can't. Uh, but we can go to his uh, actual official page here. Chupan Classic. All right. Cool stuff. When is it? Is there a date? Uh, I think this is something about COVID. Like you can kind of see the O and the V and then the 19. I don't know. But I'm, I'm assuming that based off of the virus is being pushed back. Um, that's unfortunate. But so is everything else. So that's the thing about that. Like the Olympia went from September to now December. Um, but yeah, I mean, I just hope Hottie's there. Uh, he's one of the best water bills in the world. So I hope he can make it. We'll see, guys. Anyways. Quick video, hope you enjoyed the video. Like, share, comment down below. Subscribe, make it thing. Sub to the boy, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.